49ers beat the Lions 34 to 31. Lions had it. They had it right here in the palm of their hands and they let it slip away. Some people are pissed off at the coach because uh, he went forward on fourth down in the second quarter and they didn't get the first down and then the Chiefs went on to score 20 some unanswered points and win the game. But I will also make the argument that he did go for it. No, no, no I'm saying he went for it second half, didn't get it. First half, he didn't go for it, kicked a field goal. But have, had he gone for it and scored a touchdown, the score would have been 35 to 34. So, you know, you, you, you got to call him like you see him. The guy's done that his whole this whole season gone for it on fourth and short and it just didn't turn out that one play so i don't blame the coach i blame the the receivers in the second half who dropped the ball i blame uh, the people who didn't catch the ball right there's a couple of drop passes and i blame eminem oh do you i blame eminem okay he was at the game right and then i don't know if you saw this little video but there was a whole full-on video where he's got the full fingers up. He's flipping off. The, and it's yeah. like they think they get the game's over. In fact, there was a player, I think his name is C.J. Gardner-Johnson, right after they had scored a touchdown to go up 21 to 10 or something. Oh, yeah, here it is, the Allen Jackson. Let's show this. This is right after this touchdown. And look what this guy does, right? Like to there they're celebrating on the sidelines – He's waving goodbye to the 49er fans. Like, goodbye, game over. We got this one. Get on out of here. And there's still two quarters two left. Qu- <laughs> Rookie move, dude. You never talk smack until it's over. Mm, or unless it's like a blowout and there's like no chance. Nope. Is, don't. Nope. Nope. Don't do it. Tom no. Brady has taught everyone that <laughs> lesson. Well, maybe- How many times has Tom Brady come back True. I mean, really, you, you can't do it until it is over. Believe me, I've wanted to do it. In fact, I have I composed tweets, right? Like I worded it the way I wanted to word it <laughs> when the outcome was going to go my way, and I had it ready to post. I got my finger on the trigger, but there's one minute left. I'm like, nope, yeah. not until that game is over. And as soon as it's over, post. It was fun. Right, Alan, you don't do that. No, absolutely. Yeah. Do not talk trash before, during, before, yeah. during, or throughout the game. Because guess what will happen? Yeah. The 49ers will come back in the second half and beat your ass, and you look like an idiot. Right. Yeah. That's why. It's, uh, it's so much better to just hold off and wait on the top ta- taunting until the very end. Right. Than to do it prematurely and find out you're wrong. And then... That's actually worse. That's like worse to get piled on <laughs> yeah. for being wrong with it. Yeah. And speaking of piling on, I feel like I got to do that a little bit because the Chiefs beat the Ravens seventeen to ten, and that's not what was scripted. I mean, if you watched this show last week, we talked about how everybody—not everybody, but the weirdos, the nut jobs, the conspiracy theorists, tenfold hat people. We're saying that the NFL is scripted and that they had already scripted the Ravens to win. And their proof was that they they had some image from some TV station in Canada that said, you know, these people will be performing at the Super Bowl and against the Ravens and the 49ers. I think we showed that last week. Yeah, I'm trying to see if I can pull that up again. It's out there. Uh, and they also had an argument where the, the Super Bowl logo was purple. And that was proof that the Ravens were going to be in it. And uh, to those people, I'd like to say, what happened? I, I thought you said it was scripted. <laughs> Is there a chance you're wrong? No, it's not you. I'm sure what happened was the NFL figured out that people were on to them and then they rewrote the script that's what you're gonna say that's what you're gonna say but no those are for dumb people um so i like to make fun of the dumb people but yeah not the super bowl i wanted and by the way i made the argument too if detroit had made it 
and the Chiefs or the 49ers had made it. That's red and blue. And what does red and blue make, Isaiah? Isn't it, uh, I don't remember. Red <laughs> and blue. If you mix them together, what color do you get? Isn't it purple? Yes! Yeah. I learned that so that's line. what I was going to say. Even oh, if the Ravens didn't make it, but Detroit did and any other team did, it's purple. Okay, dumb people. Um, also, so I was having fun with that. You know, I watched the playoffs from my recliner of rage and just tweaking it up, man, having a good time. <laughs> I love it. Um, and I had fun with uh, Discord slash AI. Um, I put this up there because, you know, you can't just put a tweet out anymore. Apparently, you have to have an image or a GIF or a video or it's not going to do anything. So I put up some uh, images of me. I typed in the AI, John Reap, John Reap as a raven. Comedian John Reap as a chief. What if John Reap looked like a lion? What if John Reap were a 49er? I, I, uh, I put those up, and I, I want to show you some. Look at that. That's not bad. Honestly, if I could find a hoodie like that, I could do this for Halloween, right? All you got to do is just grow the mustache out a little bit more, and then, uh, yeah, that's a dope-ass looking hoodie. Actually. You look like a superhero. I do. <laughs> no, I look like the not-so-cowardly lion. I and here we are. Oh, yeah. There you it is. You look like one of the X-Men or something. <laughs> yeah. What's my, what's my special power? I'll claw your face off or yep. something. I'll clean myself with my paws after I lick them. Uh, here's John Reap as a gold miner. Uh, yeah, I typed in John Reap as a, a, a gold miner from the 1800s, and that popped up. It doesn't get my face very good. No, I was going to say, I think your, your nose... It's a little wide. Your nose and your eyes. Yeah. Doesn't know how to quite do very well. <laughs> I love this one. This one looks a little more like you. This is badass. Yeah. I actually wish I looked that fierce. I wish I could actually wear something like that without people uh, telling me that it's wrong or so, you know, it's like I think cultural so. appropriation or something. Yep. But I think that looks cool, you know. Uh, what's next? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is my favorite one. <laughs> After typing that in, I might, to quote Edgar Allan Poe, I might say, nevermore. <laughs> nevermore. Quote. That's, uh, that's good, though. That's a badass. That's scary looking. Yeah. That's pretty um, creative that AI did that and not a human being. Yeah. You know, I didn't call up my buddy and say, hey, can you do this? I didn't have this idea. I simply wrote John Reap as a raven, and that popped up. So... Pretty, pretty cool.